ink speaking why ink speaking because you know it's like when you answer a phone bring hello ink speaking oh my god <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll start. You ever wake up some days and just wish everything would be different? Or that you would be different? Not that everything would be different from there on out, but maybe just for today, you know? But instead, you wake up sometimes and it's just like... Yeah, right, no. <clears throat> Me either, just throwing out hypotheticals, you know. Um, I guess, I guess I just feel like I'm sort of stuck in this, in this routine, you know, and, and I'm not sure how to get out of it, or if I can get out of it, or what out of it even means or looks like, like, like a horse in a racetrack without blinders that realizes it's just in an oval, an endless oval. And there's probably more to that metaphor, but, but you get the point. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just in my head too much, but you, you probably guessed that, you know? But it's, it's like, if I could maybe, and, and just maybe, do something different, well, I don't know. Psychoanalysis was never my thing, and I, and I, but I don't know, there's gotta be something to this, and I didn't expect this sort of thing. Just to be passing through my days like a, like a, a fuck, a metaphor. Point being, I did what I was supposed to do in the ethos of suburbia. I listened to my parents, I went to school, did pretty well, graduated college even, got my degree, all that jazz. But now I'm 23 and back to living in my parents' house, which isn't horrible, but I mean, come on. You know, even my dog knows this routine is bad for me. And I want to change. It's not that I don't want it or even actively seek it. It's just something. Something I, I can't put my tongue on. But I, but I feel like I can taste it. You know, I've always wondered about that. What does this sort of thing taste like? I always thought depression tasted like, like peanut butter. Because I hate peanut butter. I mean, without chocolate, it's just like, what's the point? You know? Where was I, where was I going with this? Right, right, I'm stuck, I'm fucking stuck. And at this point, I'm desperate. Into a recent college grad living with student loans but rent free at his parents and no immediate job prospects, what's two and a half thousand dollars? You know, what's, what's that in the long run of everything? Like three classes, maybe, when you look at it that way. So really, it should be an, an easy decision when you're at the point I'm at. Who knows? Maybe I'd do it. Do something. You know? Maybe. Get out of the house. Fly somewhere new. Do something new. Be someone new. That's how it works, right? so up front, but I have to ask, are you on cocaine? What? No. Sorry. Sorry. Well, then would you please stop fidgeting yes, around so much? I'm so sorry. Very difficult to read Just when you're spazzing all over the place. nervous for my trip, that's uh -huh, all, so uh -huh, apologize. Yeah. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll bite. Where do I even start? I mean, this trip was kind of a spur of the moment thing, which isn't very common for me. And I don't have a lot of money, so it's just a couple days anyway. You ever flown before? <laughs> have I flown before? Oh yeah. It's not my first rodeo. I've flown a lot when I was little, so I'm told. Oh, well, you sound like quite the professional traveler. Ever been to Spain before? No, no. Hablas Espanol? Well, 30 seconds later. So, just to tally it all up here. You're the opposite of a frequent flyer, mm -hmm. traveling out of the country for the first time. Correct. To a country in which you haven't the most basic understanding of its primary language. Oh. 
and you're traveling by yourself with, with what seems like very limited amount of funds. Yes, that is. That sounds. That sounds about right. Well, that explains the frequent fidgeting. Would you <laughs> Would you like my advice? What do you like? Sixteen. Seventeen, and from the sounds of it, I've seen like seventeen more times in the world than you have. So, would you like it or not? Sure. Get out more. Wow, thank you. That is very inspiring. Incredible advice. Why didn't I think of that? It's not like I have tons and of time to one just more, sit one and more think. Thing, yeah. One more thing. yeah. Get out of your head. <laughs> okay. Should help with the fidgeting so others don't have to, you know, suffer through it like me. Right. I'm so sorry. Advice from a 17 year old. Okay, you better get going. Well, Flight's on the way. Enjoy the flight. Thank you. And seriously, thank you though. Maybe I'll see you around in Spain. Not if the world is in such a cruel place. So what do you think? I think you're fucking stupid. But you'll be fine. Get out. No, well, won't get much more out than this. That I guess would being out there even make a difference. You know, how much how much does that really matter in things? I guess you got sunshine and oceans outside and the world sure has a lot to offer. A lot. But after a while it would get boring, right? I mean what's the point of a view if you don't have someone to share it with? So I don't know. After all, seeing the world has a lot to offer, it's great, but seeing it with someone, that surely makes all the difference. Especially if it happens to be a cute someone. Someone you can make cheesy, wobbly Instagram videos with where you never even see what the people are looking at. Or maybe finally you flip the camera, but it's like, oh look, hey, it's our feet and our shadows, and this is fun. Look at this thing on the street. You ever seen that before? And post it for all our followers to get jealous or whatever the point of those are. Or maybe we'd even get that, that movie goodbye where she kisses me to interrupt me and I have to decide if I want to go after her. And for just a second, it looks like I will, but then I don't because I've learned something, because I've grown, because people can grow in the span of two hours, but I can't even do it in 23 years. And maybe I'm just in my head too much. I don't know. I guess that's a start. The recognition and all, you know, I, and I can do with a start. Maybe that'll get me somewhere. Just maybe. And I can live with that. I can live with that. And I guess for now, that's where I'll end it. Woke up in bed, thought things would be different. But I woke up in bed. And everything was just the same Feel like I'm losing time Feel like I could cry Then I start to laugh At the mess we got on my mind It's cynical Oh, it's just typical My mind is too full Well Maybe I don't know There's so much to see And always somewhere to go Life's too short to live it in a fucking window Oh, 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 oh I don't know oh, oh. Maybe I can see it mm -hmm. Maybe I can be it mm -hmm. Just maybe